why you don't get things that are tested on animals. Hi guys, I'm back. Okay, it's been like four long months since I've made a video and that is because, well, my boyfriend and I bought a house and we have been dealing with that whole annoying long process, but we're moved in and we're settling because we're not there yet, but that's okay. I am so out of practice with this. I really, I don't know how to start my video. Okay, so today's video is gonna be a cruelty-free product video. I have been trying really hard to move over to cruelty-free products, like all of my products. I just really don't see how testing products that we use on animals is even a thing. In my mind, there's absolutely zero reason to test products that we use on our bodies on animals. If it's not natural and there's too many chemicals, you probably shouldn't be using it anyway. I'm just saying. I think I've been annoying my boyfriend a little bit because I'm like, is that cruelty free? I'm not buying it. And he's just like, ugh. So I'm gonna hop right into this. Hop like a little bunny. Hop like a little bunny right into this. And I'm gonna start with beauty products because that seems to be where everyone starts going cruelty free. I'm gonna start with drugstore products because I feel like that's where most people tend to go. It's the easier um, place to buy things, it's cheaper. The two brands that are the biggest <laughs> cruelty free brands that is a good bang for your buck is e.l.f. and NYX. And you can find both of these products at Walmart, Target. These are three of my favorite things that I use almost daily. So the first one is from e.l.f. or E.L.F. which is eyes, lips, and face. This is a face primer that you put on before your makeup. And I got the Radiant Glow because makeup wise, I'm not a fan of caking everything on. Um, I'm a fan of looking like I just came from the beach or looking like I'm going to the beach. This Illuminate Face Primer in Radiant Glow is kind of like a yellow shimmery, um, basically a glow to your face that you put on before your makeup. So it sits under your makeup and it just kind of gives you like a dewy, shimmery beach look. They also had this in um, lavender to help with um, soothing skin. They also had it in green to help with redness. Next is from NYX and it's the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. Now, this is basically a highlighter. It is a highlighter, it's in the color Sunbeam. It works so well, I usually put it right here to highlight up my nose in this, I don't even know what this is called. Someone comment below and tell me what this is called. But I put it on my all my highlight spots underneath my eyebrows and it's really nice. It's lightweight. Well, I'll just read what it says. It says lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and a beautiful highlight. I like it because again it looks natural. It's not like boom in your face highlight but it still is noticeable so I really really like this. Probably I'm going to be buying this again when it runs out. And the last thing from NYX which I've been obsessing about this stuff is so good is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. <laughs> Literally, it's got you covered. So I got this in ivory, which is the palest color, because I already have concealer that's like the brown. It's not brown, but it has more of a peachy color in it to cover up the dark spots because I have really bad, dark, puffy under eyes. And you can probably still see it now because it just does not go away. And that's what happens when you become a mother. It just does not go away. I got this in ivory to kind of use as a base before I put the other peachy color concealers on. And it lasts forever. Seriously, okay. You only need to squeeze it to the point where only a tiny bit comes out on your finger like this. I go like this, dab it so it coats both of my fingers and then I dab it under my eyes. And then I take a brush and I smooth it out. Um, but this little bit a little bit of this goes a really long way and it really has got you covered. <laughs> Next are beauty products that aren't found in the drugstore. I actually purchased these from Sephora. I'll start with my Too Faced products. Too Faced is all cruelty free and their products are amazing. If you use Too Faced you probably already know this. The first thing I got is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I got this because I was out of mascara and I needed it more anyway and I have got to say I love it. It's a more of a natural plump mascara. It just makes your eyes look bigger and it makes you have like the big eyelashes like anime eyelashes. I do not know why I just compared it to anime but 
Yeah, come on, when you think of big eyes, you have to think of anime because that's what I think of. Like, you, you want those big, like, Japanese eyes. But this is really great. It's not over the top, it's natural, but it still gives you the look that you want. Now, this, hands down, is my favorite thing in my beauty collection ever. This is so great. I love it so much. And it's so freaking cute. You probably have seen this all over freaking YouTube, all over freaking Instagram. I don't know who you follow on Facebook, but you've probably seen it there too. Definitely Tumblr. And it is the Too Faced Love Flush. And I got it in I Will Love You Always. This is the freaking cutest packaging, best cruelty free product I have ever seen in my life. And it's probably just because it's shaped as a heart. I don't know, but it's freaking adorable. And it's this cute Too Faced little compact mirror, and it has two little bunnies on it, and it says Too Faced, and let me tell you, this is so pigmented, it is insane. But this will, I feel like this is gonna last forever if it doesn't like crack, because it's so pigmented and you really do only need a little bit. And it's long lasting 16 hour blush, and so far, I've got to say, it lasts pretty much all day, especially if you use a, like, finishing spray. So this is awesome. Too Faced is definitely a good place to start if you don't know where to start buying cruelty for your products, and especially if you don't want to buy drugstore makeup. Great place. Um, the last thing that I got from Sephora, which this brand is mostly cruelty free. It's one of those really confusing um, brands, but this was actually made in New York and it, this wasn't tested on animals, so I went for it. And it's a brand called Becca. And their foundations and concealers and illuminators are awesome. So this is the Becca, the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in light. There was a shade lighter than this in ivory and they were all out so I went for light and I'm actually kind of glad that I did because this foundation is really great if you want a very, very natural look. When you do it, it's closed like this and you twist the cap and a little button pops up. So you basically untwist it and then there's like this syringe and you push the button down and squeeze two drops, three drops on your hand and then you plop it all over your face and basically rub it in. And what it does is it gives you a very dewy glow. It's kind of like a face primer, but it lasts longer, it stays, like it says, it's like a perfection foundation. So basically, I love this a lot because it makes it look like I was just chilling at the beach and it gives you that really dewy glow, like you were just at the pool or you were just like sitting out in the sun for a couple hours and I freaking love it. I'm not a huge caker. I feel like my skin isn't great for caking on makeup. It's illuminating and it's awesome. And buy it if you want to look like you just spent the whole day at the beach. Anyway, so moving on to more of like bathroom stuff. The first thing that I got is from Lush. Now I'm not going to have a ton of stuff from Lush because I just bought a crap ton of stuff. So I will probably do a Lush haul. So look out for that. But this is so amazing I had to put this in my video my boyfriend basically makes fun of me for using this every single time he thinks it's so weird but it's the luscious toothy tabs and if you haven't used these I suggest you try them I have it in aquatic and it's like this um jasmine with earl grey tea and all this stuff and it kind of my boyfriend says it smells like a funeral home after you use it so I kind of went back and I got this one and it's called Choo Choo I Love You Toothy Tabs. And it smells like roses and lemons. It just says, I choo choo choose you. Brush your teeth with this romantic rose tab before moving in for the first kiss. Instead of all those aluminum and plastic toothpaste tubes, which go to the landfill every year, we package our toothy tabs in simple recyclable cardboard boxes. When your box is empty, you can recycle it. I love these because I can eat like half an hour, hour afterwards and not have that nasty mint in your mouth or like when you take a sip of orange juice and you're like, oh, I just brushed my teeth and I forgot, it's nasty. These are great, doesn't taste like that. It's like basically like a baking soda tab and you just crunch it up in your teeth and then you wet your brush and you brush it and you brush it and it kind of gets foamy but you just spit it out, keep brushing. I love it, it doesn't leave like this weird feeling on your teeth. These are great. Moving on, I have, Al, Al, Alba, 
Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Cleaning Towelettes. Deep Pure Purifying Pineapple Enzyme Makeup Remover, Cleanser, and Toner. And there's 100% vegetarian ingredients and it's cruelty free. It has the little bunny on the back. I was looking for a cruelty free makeup remover and I am a sucker for towelettes. They're just easy, just wipe it off, go. And I don't really wear heavy makeup, so it's perfect. So this is really great if you need to um, try to find a makeup remover. <laughs> I am so bad at this guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so off my game. I will get better over the next couple of videos because let's be honest, I suck at this anyway. Okay, so moving on from bath or makeup, I have bought cruelty free cleaning products because as I said before, I just moved into our new house. So I had to go out with my cleaning products and I made sure only to buy cruelty free because let's face it, if you're using harsh chemicals cleaning your house, and you have kids or pets or even like for your own health. Hello, let's not be stupid about this. Harsh chemicals is not good for you. It's not good for anybody. So definitely don't want to test that crap on animals. All this cleaning stuff I got at Target. So if you're around the Target, they probably have it in Walmart. You can easily go pick this up. The first thing I got is Better Life Naturally Stain Slapping Stain and, stain and Odor Eliminator. And I got this because we have a puppy. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I have a puppy because I post a whole bunch of crap about him. His name is Apollo, he's a golden retriever, and he's 12 weeks old. And we just moved, so he's not used to our house, and he gets a little excited, and sometimes he pees on the floor because he's a puppy. So I got this stain and odor eliminator, plus I have a kid, so yeah, you know, you kind of need these when you're a parent or a doggy mom. But it is 100% plant-derived cleaning ingredients from soy, soap bark, coconut, and corn. There's also 100% natural scent, so there's nothing at it. So this is basically a great stain remover for being cruelty-free, all natural products. So then I have Mrs. Meyers stuff. I have the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day. Um, Multi-surface everyday cleaner in lemon verba. This is verbena, lemon verbena. And this is great for like cleaning countertops, cleaning, you know, what like tables, etc. surfaces. Great cleaner, all natural, um, cruelty free. This whole brand basically is all natural, cruelty free. I also have the Miss Myers Clean Day in honeysuckle scent for their hand soap and it includes olive oil in aloe vera so it's really soft it leaves your hands nice and moisturized and the great things about these is that they're recyclable um, you don't have to worry about all the harsh chemicals and it's all like plant derived ingredients with like essential oils and except these are really great and then I have Mrs. Meyers clean day um, dish soap and this is also in the lemon ver uh, verbena I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that last but not least I have the seventh generation Natural dishwasher detergent. Yeah, there's no harsh fumes, chlorine free, phosphate free, fi uh, biodegradable formula. Um, basically, really great products for your home. It's seventh generation, um, Mrs. Myers. There's other ones, there's like the Honest Company. All these products are really great to use for your home, especially around kids. Um, cleaning wise and pets, you don't have to worry about them inhaling it or touching it when it's not dry. Alright guys, that's it for my cruelty free video and these are just some of my cruelty free products. I'll probably do an updated one in the future. Let me know if you liked it so I know for sure so I don't just make another one and annoy you guys even though I'll probably annoy you guys anyway. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you comment below and let me know if you like any of these products, if you ever used any, or if you are using some that I haven't named because I'm open to more products. Say please, don't test on my friends. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Just don't be a prick. Get out of here. But comment if you liked it. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs>
Thank you.